it, it's weird, right? I I think you Limited Way to like Rap, it. they look good. It's not the style I particularly would go for in my system, but on like a a I guess you it's hard to say objectively good looking thing, but like they it's clearly a well crafted theme, and if you look at I think this is a good way to put it. If you look at a Libid Waiter application, you can very clearly tell where it's from, right? Like, there is no guessing, oh, is this maybe from this desktop or that desktop? It's very clearly, this was designed with Libid Waiter. This was designed specifically with the GNOME desktop in mind. And I guess that, that's a similar appeal that, like, macOS has, for example, where, I, I, you know, it's... I know some people don't like the comparison between GNOME and macOS, but I think in this in this sense it does work, where macOS has sort of very clear design principles they go for. Obviously, certain things like games fall completely out of that, but when you see an application that is designed with Gn uh, with um with macOS's principles in mind, you can very clearly tell where it's from and. Maybe, I guess maybe it acts as like a, a form of, I don't know, it, it feels, it feels cohesive, right? Like you look at, you look at. And that's the big lie. Okay. The cohesiveness of the desktop. Mm -hmm. Desktops don't have to be necessarily cohesive. I mean, yeah, it might, it might be satisfying to have like 10 apps open and they all look the same, but then you start to think about it. They all look the same. Do you know how hard it is when you have applications that are all functionally, like the shape is all identical to tell them apart? Like when you have many apps open and you have like the window overview, point, actually, yeah. they, they're difficult to tell apart. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I, I think that like having more and more heterogeneous um, desktop experience does have a value, uh, like, like it or not, um, it makes sense. And besides, Again, it's really no. I don't think it's really uh, to necessarily be user's choice. I mean, the user can do again whatever they want with the system to the extent that that particular application supports it, or mm -hmm. like even if it has hacks that you can apply on top of it mm -hmm. to make it do the thing that you want it to do. Right? Mm -hmm. You you can still as the user you can still do it. You're on your own for sure. But like the application developer has put thought into it and like. There, there is no good. There is no good way to have, like, have the users or whatever, whoever else wants to redistribute your, your thing, completely like have a, a totally a uniform looking desktop. Uh, that's just uh, not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Again, Steam is a good example. Uh, I, I don't think, like, even in Mac OS in in Windows, you like, I I, I use a, a MacBook for work. Mm -hmm. um, horrible experience. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, I do use a virtual machine inside of it, but I do need to use macOS from time to time, and that's just uh, when when I start swearing and my life gets more miserable. Um, anyway, uh, macOS like is not a great experience, and applications are not consistent. Sure, if you use Finder, uh, well, how, like if you want to put yourself through that. Yeah, it, it's consistent with, I don't know, preview. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What, what other Apple application do you you might want to use on a daily basis? Safari? Do people use Safari? Uh, yeah, you have three apps that look consistent. Third biggest web browser. Now, to be fair, when Chrome is the biggest <laughs> by... F no, it, no, I think it's second biggest. There are three web browsers. I want to say it's, it's bigger than Firefox. I, someone's going to correct me on the numbers, but I think it might be bigger than Firefox. Maybe. But, you know, Chrome is so much further above that it doesn't actually matter if Firefox or Safari is bigger. I don't think it makes a difference to be the third biggest when your competition, like the, the number or the, the second biggest, if, you, if the competition is three, like, right? Mm -hmm. See, sure, you're there somewhere. It's like, it's like uh, BSD users, uh, God bless their soul, but like, uh, they... they, they they are there, sure. There are not a big number of operating systems out there. Mm -hmm. So they show up maybe uh, in graphs. Um, anyway, the, in macOS... Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, direct your angry BSD powered emails at Brody Robertson. Um, <laughs> anyway, yes, Mac anyway. OS, Windows, they're not consistent experiences. Sure, they sure. are all over the place, particularly if you like you use something like a corporate thing, right? Mm -hmm. A corporate issued laptop. You have the VPN app that looks like uh, it was designed by blind uh, monkeys. I don't know. Uh, no, blind monkeys would probably have a better aesthetic, aesthetical taste. You have Teams. Uh, you have Zoom. You have uh, whatever else. Like you have, like VS Code. Do we want to talk about VS Code? <laughs> uh, all of these things, they are not consistent with anything. Like the best thing you can do is like probably in VS Code, you can have like a, a, a color scheme that kind of looks like something Apple would design, but that like goes only like a certain way, right? Sure. Um, it's just the reality of things. Developers do their thing. And like, if you like the application, you're going to use it. Like, I don't think that anyone com complains like or well, people do complain, but like if you don't like the way Steam looks, uh, I don't particularly enjoy the, the the Steam UI. I don't really care too much for it because it's a, at the end of the day, it's a good service. Uh, mm -hmm. I enjoy using it. Um, I would make some changes, maybe, uh, but it, it, it's, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I, I, it makes me play my games. I'm happy with it. That's all I need to to care for. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I guess so. I guess. You're sort of what you're getting at is that this idea of having even if we do have it, let, let's just assume that Livid Waiter never existed and GNOME was still built pure GTK4. Even then, this idea of having a perfectly consistently themed desktop, you would argue, is just it's possible in a very minimal sense, but as soon as you start adding in weird applications that are built in Electron or their Steam or your browser and things like this, things start to, I guess, completely lose any possibility of being, like, being consistently themed. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure every anyone listening has probably experienced it. Like, I, I remember at some point... Um, was it what 10 years ago or something um there were like uh, these i don't know what we were doing but there were like some people trying to have oh a purely gtk based desktop or a purely qt based desktop and like they were going out of their way to to only use uh these are the toolkit apps mm -hmm. and uh i think it was before electron yeah mm -hmm. uh that, that was an interesting time it, it like it's an exercise in style at that point. It I I agree that it might be interesting to like as a challenge. Oh, can I use uh, in, like insert like a YouTuber uh, face with the mouth open? Uh, can I live ten days with only using GTK apps? Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting conversation starter, but I don't think that it's more than that. It doesn't bring in any value. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's I think that's a, that's a fair point. I, I don't know, right? Like, my, I, I've never really been... Whilst I care about people having that ability there if they care about it, like, my my system has always been, like, a very minimal hacked-together theme. Like, my theme is dark with a blue accent. So if I can do that, that's... I don't really care about, like, the specific colour of dark gray like as long as i can get dark with a blue accent or a red accent depending on how i feel that day that's as far as it goes for me and that's that's pretty easy to like match even between toolkits with completely different theming systems like if, if your goal is something that's minimal like you want a dark theme like that's that's pretty mostly easy enough to achieve most applications will suit that today there are still some exceptions that you can't do that but you know that'll be the exceptions but especially you'll see places like uh, unix pond for example where there'll be people that are like i they're, they're like the pie wall users where they have it the colors of all of their applications based off of like their wallpaper and 
they've probably spent 30 hours just getting all of these different applications. Maybe they built their own custom Steam theme as well to fit that as well. Maybe they even forked Libid Wader to, I don't know, modify It's an interesting in exercise in style. Yeah, and it teaches yeah. you some stuff uh, in the process, but... <laughs> It's it's like playing like rising itself. Mm -hmm. I it's fun. I understand it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I have done it for a while. Not like, like rising uh, window managers. I never really got into that. But that's mm -hmm. because just I'm, I'm me, right? But it's something fun we can do with computers. Like what Windows or Mac OS user can say can say that, right? Uh, and, and I think that that's that's precious uh, in a way. I don't I don't want that to necessarily. I, I'm, I'm not saying that I want to see that going away. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's a fun thing. That's like because like uh, computers for most people are just like the 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 scary gray box that you have to open from time to time because you have to edit a word document, right? Mm -hmm. And we Linux users, I think we know better than that. We know that computers can be fun, can be interesting, can be like a tool that you actually enjoy using, mm -hmm. right? And I think that part of that definitely is also like rising it uh, as like ugly as you want your rice to be. Um, I think I think I still think that that's cool. Mm -hmm. And I think that also like many developers uh, start from from stuff like that, right? rising your desktop. Um, that's fine. Um, but then again, like if you're thinking about practical stuff, if you if you're going out of your way to argue with developers and like harass people just because like you can't change the color of your thing i, I think i think it's like a little bit too much 